Well, jurors are being selected today in the case against a 16-year-old from Wisconsin who took a gun to school last year and shot his principal to death. Detectives say Eric Hainstock told them he went to school armed because he was upset that neither his teachers nor his principal did anything to stop kids in the school from bullying him and teasing him. He faces life in prison now. We're talking to Mark, Mark Eiglar, a defense attorney, and Lawton Cummings, who is a professor of criminal law at Washington and Lee. Good to see you both. Um, Mark, make the case for us. A kid gets picked on, so that's an excuse? Absolutely not. And if the defense lawyers argue that, not only will it not lead to an acquittal, it would be irresponsible. But what they are suggesting is that this isn't first degree murder, that he went to school with the guns because in his own words, people just weren't listening to him. And if he was going to be confronted by the bullies or anyone he wanted to just get to listen to him, he was going to pull the guns out. But the argument is that he did not intend to kill, it happened as a result of being jumped by the principal at that moment. And I'm not suggesting that that's what happened, I'm saying that's the argument to be made. Lutton, there, he did though confess. Detectives say that they have it on tape. They said that he thought of it that morning to bring a bunch of guns to school and then he said he quote, freaked out when the principal grabbed him because he saw him and actually the principal ended up being a hero in all this. The principal grabbed him, uh, Eric said he freaked out and then he shot him on purpose. Detectives say that he confessed to that. He was a 15 year old kid with a lot of problems at the time. Can that confession possibly be thrown out? I doubt it. Mark knows as well as I do that the number one thing you tell your clients is shut your mouth. This is a classic case of someone sinking themselves. He not only confessed, but there's other bad facts that show that he did have intent to kill. For instance, he said two weeks earlier that everyone in school was going to be sorry and he was going to be laughing when everyone was hurt. There's plenty of facts that show that he had intent to kill. But even if he didn't have have intent to kill. There's something called felony murder that I think would apply here, which is when you're in the process of committing a felony, and here assault with a deadly weapon would definitely qualify, and you do end up killing someone, then that intent actually counts for intent to kill, and you can get a first degree murder conviction on that. Mark, would you put him on the stand if he were your client? No, uh, I generally don't. 98% of the time, I think that my clients look best with their mouths closed. Um, I would, however, highlight uh, this allegation that he has been sexually and physically abused since the age of two, that he was actually bullied. And while that doesn't justify anything, it goes to his state of mind to try to get the jurors to feel some compassion for him, just a little bit, enough to get them to come back on a lesser included offense. Mark Eichlarsch and Lawton Cummings, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much.